I'm home. Wait, what? Marina, are you serious? Think carefully about what, damn it? All right, sir. The forms are good to go. Thanks, boss. You told me to submit them. Guess I got no choice. Trouble busters! Come on now, Thomas. We're going. What are you lazing about for? I don't want to go to your parents' house anymore. Eh? Uh, so you're disobeying me, eh? Well, now you have some guts for sure. I ain't disobeying you, babe. I just despise going there is all. After all, Mr. and Mrs. Morrison only look down on me, right? If you don't like being told and criticized, how about you freaking change, eh? What's wrong with telling someone useless that they're useless, eh? But I'm working hard in my own way. What I want is the results. The money. And I'm telling you that'll be in due time after my hard work pays off. I'll be going alone today then. Hey, Thomas. Eh? You really shouldn't take me lightly, you know. You won't dare divorce me anywhere. Oh, here we go again. My name is Thomas Smith, and I work at the local Hammer and Hammers Ironworks factory. I went on a business trip for two nights and three days, with the atmosphere around a condescending wife Marina left unpleasant. And then the business trip was over, and I come home when... Wait, what? Marina, are you serious? Think carefully about what, dammit? Oh, guess I should go now. But where? Shit, man! I'm more outraged than I expected. Seriously? Ah! Arena's section is filled in perfectly, with her seal and everything. This is too far, Marina! Ah! <laughs> Marina, where are you? At your parents? Please come back home! <laughs> so miserable. With how you're acting, I suppose you saw it, eh? I did. And? What are you going to do? More to the point, what's your plan here? Well, the situation should speak for itself. If you continue like this, you'll definitely be dumped by yours truly, sir. Isn't it unfair to threaten me with divorce? If something like this is allowed, who's to say something worse ain't gonna happen? Yep, something worse could happen. <laughs> this is your punishment for your rebellious attitude towards me. I'm sorry. There is no equality between you and me, Thomas. Remember the circumstances leading up to your marriage, yeah? I only said yes because you really wanted me to marry you. To be honest, have you any idea the incredible number of proposals I received from men who wanted to get married to a woman like me? Let's just talk for the time being. No discussion allowed. I only accept an apology. What the? Please, just stop doing it this way. <laughs> oh my. Milady Marina, milady. Because this method is extremely effective. You're currently in the wild and panic. I feel like it's going to be the way I want it to be. No, this method is seriously dangerous. Please think about it, okay? If I really wanted a divorce, it would happen, you know? You don't have that courage. You really should understand your position here, darling. The hell? What is my position exactly? By the time we got married, I had given you so many things, you know. But once we got married, we got even, didn't we? There's no way we're even, Thomas. Give me a break, seriously. Please, just come back. You know I'm not going to do that, right? We can't talk until you come back, Marina. And yet we're talking right now. If you don't call this a conversation, what do you call it then? Think carefully before you speak, Padawan. And I'm telling you, that is my line. If you have anything you want to say, come to where I am, damn it! Were you freaking cowering away whenever something's up? Marina and I had a big argument on the phone, but Marina had no intention of giving in. She told me to come over to her parents' house if I was upset, and that I was being cruel. At the end of the call, there was her usual, You don't dare divorce me anyway. <laughs> Those chastising words cut through my soul once again as the line went dead. Hmm? What the hell is this? From now on, you can only say yes to my orders. No words other than thank you and I'm sorry will be allowed. No interference in my affairs outside, unlimited pocket money, and beyond being loose on spoiling me. Leave it. Unguarded. Showing your face here at my parents' house every now and then. Endure daddy's teachings, and complaining is also not allowed. Nothing of free will from you will be tolerated. You must absolutely obey my orders. All requests for me to do things like cleaning and cooking will be immediately rejected. You can say that to a regular housewife, but for a beauty queen housewife like myself, all that sort of common sense flips on its head. 
If you think you can file for divorce, by all means, go right ahead. <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't think you have the guts to do that. This is the final straw. I was crying rather profusely, admittedly, but seeing these messages beyond ridiculous made my heart immediately turn stone cold. Thinking about it calmly now, I wonder what it was about her that I was so drawn to. Depending on how you think about it, maybe the perfect stage has been set for me to cut ties and exact revenge. All right. All of a sudden, it became more evident to me that continuing my married life with her would be impossible. No, screw it. It's a lost cause. We're getting divorced. All right, sir. The forms are good to go. Thanks, boss. You told me to submit them. Guess I got no choice. I filed for divorce the same day I received her batshit crazy messages. Now, it's all clouds and rainbows for me now that we're an ex-couple. And then, something happened that made me truly think that it was a good idea to get divorced. Unforgivable! Troublebusters, initiate! <laughs> Thomas's bird brain must be functional again at this point, eh? I mean, duh. <laughs> Because he'll never be able to have such a beautiful wife like me again. In the first place, it's his fault that he always does things that people like us complain about. That's right. The only reason Marina's life hasn't gotten any easier is because Tommen's efforts have not been worth it. Habits make people insensitive. Folks get so lazy when there aren't any older, more responsible people like us sounding the alarms. Yes, especially youngsters like Thomas. Hmm, it's kind of difficult for me to talk about, and I really don't get it. But anyway, if Thomas doesn't treat me like a princess 24-7, 365, we're getting divorced, okay? Yes, princess, that's fine. That's how it should be. Hey! <laughs> what the frick is- w Why isn't there any furniture? Hell if I know! The frick is that bastard thinking? Marina, your phone! Is it Thomas? Hello, ma'am. I'm Kingman of Tiger Cat Deliveries. There are 16 packages, cash on delivery, waiting for one Miss Marina Smith. Cash on delivery? Hey, who is that from? From a gentleman called Thomas Smith, ma'am. What do you mean? Well, looks like that's that. Yes, hello? Thomas, what is going on here? Hmm? Oh, by any chance, did you come back home? Because you never freaking reply. Do I even need to respond? Huh? I'm already a stranger after all. What? A stranger? Then onward came a veritable tsunami of phone calls and voice messages. It's too freaking late to panic now, bitch. What up, ex-wife of mine? Hold on a minute, a stranger? What? Ex-wife? Hell yeah. Enough freaking joking around to get serious. The frick you mean ex-wife? A stranger? Explain yourself, Thomas. Oh, that. I just decided to divorce after seeing that kind letter you left me. What? You took the plunge? Yep. I remember someone saying, if you think you can file for divorce, by all means go right ahead. Which became, I can do it, so by all means I'll go right ahead. You went right ahead? You filed for divorce? Hell yeah! Stop acting like you're so happy! Hell yeah! Freaking stop it! You don't go right ahead there! Aww, why not? You sent me such a provocative letter, you know! That was just a tool of blackmail or something! I don't know! Oh, was that so? Well then, you ought to have written that detail down too! Now that we've cleared things up, cancel the divorce, yeah? Hmm? Hell no! What the heck? Why not? After all, you and I are no longer a couple. I'm a stranger to you. And whenever you were in any particular trouble, you immediately took refuge at your parents' house and used the threat of divorce as a tool to threaten me. I don't need a wife like that. You don't need a... Thomas, you... The hell did I do, Marina? <laughs> I should have warned you time and time again to prevent this sort of thing from happening, eh? Warned me, my sweet little ass! Have you forgotten the favor I did by marrying you? The hell is that coming from? <laughs> If you never wanted to, you could have just said no. You better thank me for saying yes after taking that into account. I sincerely thank you for agreeing to marry me. Doesn't sound like you freaking mean it. Listen, I hear you loud and clear. But doesn't that mean you can do whatever you want, eh? If we didn't allow it, the imbalance would be too great to control anymore. It couldn't be helped. Yes, it could have been helped. I mean, 
If you really thought it was that bad of a mismatch, don't accept a marriage proposal from such a man. Then we both didn't have to waste each other's time. You mean to tell me your marriage to me was a waste of your time? Frankly speaking, I really do think so. You don't listen to me at all, nor do you do anything to help the marriage. There were times when I went out in the morning and came back home from work to find your position hadn't changed at all. I wanted you to do things around the house at your own pace, and I never expected perfection whatsoever. I told you at the beginning many times, but the truth is that I wanted you to do what you could do. Uh, I admit it. Maybe it was my fault that I ignored that for so long. No, not maybe. Absolutely. It was your fault. But it's terrible to make decisions without any consultation, isn't it? Hey now, hold on, princess. <laughs> Who filled in the divorce forms first and urged me to do my part, eh? I believe it was you. You're an adult, so take responsibility for what you did. Or will loving mommy and daddy take care of that too, hmm? You bastard! Daddy! Thomas is... Thomas is so cruel to me! Leave it to daddy. Thomas, what on earth are you thinking? What the devil? That prick! He's hung up the phone! Uh, mommy! What an insane dimwit! Let's put him on speakerphone and we'll all defeat him together! Let's do it! Hmm? Got something else to- I will not forgive you for hurting my daughter! Oh, what the hell? Isn't this enough, Mr. Morrison? No use crying over spilled milk. The divorce forms were officially accepted a week ago and- Sushi! The hell are you talking about? Stop this! Come home this instant! Right now, you hear me? Well then, sure, Mr. Smith. The fact that you came back means that you have admitted that it was your fault, eh? Wrong. I only came back because Marina's clothes were accidentally mixed in with my luggage. Had to give them back. Well then... Uh, mommy. What do you want now, Henry? Hey, even though Marina's crying here, you don't feel heartbroken? That's right. What color is your blood, eh, boy? That would be color of blood red, sir. As for the crying, I genuinely feel like it's not worth even a damn penny. You cold-blooded monster! No, no, no. If you have the time to be angry, sir, direct it towards your daughter, who used something as dangerous as a divorce notice as a convenient tool to get her own selfish ways. This is too much, Thomas. Even after all that, I still loved you, and yet... Hmm? You still loved me? Yeah. Even more than that Axel guy, whom you're cheating on me with? What? You know what I mean, right? Huh? Oh, what, Marina? <laughs> Damn, I guess rubbing salt into a wound is literally like this. I received a call from an unknown number just the other day, see? Upon further investigation, it turned out to be the wife of Axel, a person whom you're having an affair with. This wife was very polite, see? Sorry for the sudden call, sir. May I ask who's calling? My name is Hannah Somerset, and I'm calling you because I used detective to find out that my husband is having an affair with your wife, Marina. Oh, this Marina? The only reason you freaking came back here at all was because you threw in the towel when the other party demanded alimony from you, eh? <laughs> well, looks like folks can't do bad things after all in this society. After all, villains are designed so that no matter what they do, everything goes wrong in the end. Marina! Princess! Were you having an affair? <laughs> if that were true, this is a whole other ball game, darling! That's right! To be frank here, we don't have the wherewithal to protect you as you are burdened with alimony. That's right, if you're going to rely on someone, please rely on someone else. Uh, uh, my Thomas! Itchy knows. Please help me! I was asked for alimony, a huge amount of $30,000! Oh, I already heard it from your sweetheart's wife, Hannah. <laughs> Four years of adultery history. <laughs> Who would have thought that it was going on even before I even married you? <laughs> So all those ridiculous one-ups you had to do to me. Your sweetheart's existence fueled it pretty well now, didn't it? <laughs> no, 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 no. Axel is just for play, just so I can be a woman. If you feel like you have to have an affair to remain a woman, don't get married in the first place. <laughs> oh, and of course, I'll demand compensation from you too. Huh? Not only won't you help me, but you'll hurt me too? I'm the one who got hurt. You mistake that for self-destruction. Get it right! B -b -b but you and Marina are no longer a couple, right? If that's the case, there shouldn't be any alimony, right? You are an idiot. There are two things when it comes to the right to claim alimony. A statute of limitation and an extinctive prescription. 
The former is a period of time that only expires 20 years after the adultery had initially begun. The latter is essentially the period of three years from the moment I discovered the truth about the affair. I can easily demand alimony. That's why I'm gonna do it. Understand? Wait, no, please. Please, please. Please, Thomas. Help me, it's too cruel for you to divorce me and take alimony too. The divorce was your intention. The alimony is your penalty. I'm not involved at all. Everything going on now is a result of your own actions. No, don't throw me away. No, no, no. You threw me away. Well, that's how it is, I guess. You tried to make your Axo pay for it as his own parasite, and it failed miserably. Literally, good riddance. Well then, I guess you ought to go through a lawyer to talk to me from now on. No, 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 no lawyers. Protect me, please. You still love me, right? Huh? Hell no. Nah. I hate you, bro. Thomas! No, I don't hate you. Thomas! You don't even have any feelings of disdain and hatred. I'm a void, devoid of all emotion. It doesn't matter if you survive or not. I don't care. Thomas! Hold it right there, Thomas, son. Marina is certainly a lewd woman who broke the marital bond, I admit it. But she is still the woman you once loved. Please, take Marina back and help her through this. From now on, I'll take the housework more seriously. I'll do my best for you. I won't even go out. I can also leave my cell phone with you. Those are all very faithful things to do, for real. One very important thing is missing, though. Very important thing? If you don't understand that, no point in even considering taking you back. If you don't understand, it means you don't realize it. If you don't realize it, it means that you will rinse and repeat. Remarriage and reconstruction is absolutely impossible. What is it? Do you know anything, Daddy? Thomas wants... No cheating! There's no point in getting there unless you get there yourself. What's important is not what she notices, but also making your wish come true, isn't it? No! It's far more important for me to think than to make my wishes come true. Ask yourselves this. Can the two of you live together with Marina forever like this? Parents usually leave this world first, you know. Don't you think there's anything wrong with leaving Marina? Your very own daughter all alone when she can't do literally anything on her own? Uh, that's... Isn't that how you robbed Marina of proper chances to grow as a person? In that sense, she's also a victim here. Pampering your daughter who is more than old enough to take shit on head first. Why does a frickin' married woman come back home so often? This is something that would make any sane parent skeptical and irritated. W we're sorry! Marina's just so adorable and we spoil her without even realizing. Well, wouldn't it be a good idea to take advantage of this failure and give your daughter Marina some strict guidance when she remarries in the future? No, please, anything but that, anything but that! Have you forgotten the fact that I've already filed for divorce? Do something about that! Give us a chance to redeem! Too late! The woman in question here really does not understand what was wrong with her actions! Uh, how about this then? Uh, promise not to ask for alimony at least! Please, we're both retired and don't have much to spare. You're the only reliable workforce we have in the family right now. Skip the goddamn nonsense, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Is your goal my money? My home? No, Thomas, no! Once everything's happened, I now realize how truly important you are to me, Thomas, darling. Not me, but the money I make, right? That's not it, please! Then how about this? We will each be responsible for our own individual expenses and debts. What if it was a condition to rebuild our marriage, hmm? That's a problem. M Marina! If you put it this way, he will... No, Thomas, please, listen. Thank you for your painful words, Marina. No, that was... I wasn't serious. Reconstruction is not possible. Sayonara, suckers. Wait, please, Thomas, darling. At least divide the assets. Unfortunately, I don't have that much wealth to divide, bitches. My daughter was so adorable. I just couldn't help it. Thomas, honey, please! Naturally, I ignored my ex-in-law's request and left the scene. After receiving proper alimony, I parted ways with Marina. According to rumors in the grapevine, Marina is now working part-time from morning until night to pay off her alimony debts, and her relationship with her parents has become extremely strained. All this frickin' happened because the two of you frickin' spoiled me! Good adults don't blame their parents for shit! Hold up! What hold up? 
Good riddance, peasants! Having said that, though, I can't say I recovered well after being betrayed. Ugh, I'm so annoyed! Alan, your right cheek! Give me your right cheek! What are you gonna... Oh, hell no, nah, bro! Oh, alright. Here you go. Bruh, the mouth guard ain't gonna help me or you! Not to mention how it's already been molded. Think about the hygiene of this place. Yeah, damn! Yeah, but my heart becomes ever more broken, bro. I don't care. I'm fine with listening to you vent, but I draw the line at that. I ain't your damn punching bag. Shit. Be willing to give up a tooth or two for the sake of an outraged brother, mother fricker. The only time I'm willing to hand over my teeth is to the dentist when my wisdom teeth come in. What's this? I didn't order any beer, master. It's from the lady at that table. Damn, bro, pull the bombshell. What a damn day. Why, Thomas of all dickheads and not me. Hey, master. From the gentleman at the counter over yonder. Bruh, don't ask for seconds. Damn. Kind of a strange girl, to be honest. But there's no way I'm gonna marry anyone again. Ah, uh, but for now, I'm a party away my sorrows. Troublebusters. <laughs>